Hey there, David Risley here with blogmarketingacademy.com. We're going to cut out the intro and all that for today. I just wanted to try something here. I'm going to do it on the fly. Um, I've got a, uh, a client site, and it's a small site, okay? Very, it's only a few pages here, and it's running on Thrive Themes. But as you guys know, because of all the things that I've been talking about recently here on the YouTube channel um, and on my blog and in my newsletter, I don't recommend you use Thrive Themes anymore. That The new owner's awesome motive is just killing the product in my opinion um and i am in the process of converting any sites that i previously built on thrive themes that i had not already switched out of thrive themes i'm now switching them all out of thrive themes so i'm going to have nothing left part of it too is because i had a few sites that were built with thrive with using my thrive themes license and i have already canceled my thrive membership well, come to find out, um, these sites will no longer be editable anymore in a couple of months when my license expires. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? So anyways, this is a really small site, and I'm going to go to screen. Let me show you what we got here. I just kind of want to see what the performance difference is going to be. Uh, that's the most interesting thing here, because Thrive Themes is a little heavy. It puts a lot of code on there. Elementor pages can do the exact same thing. And so what I want to do is pretty much keep all things the same, as, as close as I can between the two versions. And I just want to compare the performance metrics and the overall size of the page from Thrive Themes and then compare it to once the site has been converted over to Cadence and let's just see how things improve. Okay, so here's the uh, page. It's, it's a real simple site. It's only got a handful of pages on and it's got a, a very small blog, but frankly, the blog posts are not that important to be honest with you, but um, and uh, but it's a real simple site. And and to be honest, I did it, it does perform fairly well right now. So because it's so small, it's like there's not a lot going on here on the site. Okay, if we run a, a quick uh, GT metrics, we you know we're getting good scores. Okay, we are getting good scores on here. But the interesting thing is that it's showing a 1.7 second load time. It's it's downloading 427 kilobyte of uh, of JavaScript, a bunch of fonts. 83 page requests. I'm actually more interested to see how these numbers are going to change than anything else. And, and if we look at PageSpeed Insights, mobile, I, I always have had a difficult time with mobile scores with Thrive. Um, I was, and at least with my site, I was not able to fix this until I switched out of Thrive and went over to Cadence Theme. Um, and, and it's no exception with this. I mean, even though this is a very small, lightweight website, the, the mobile numbers suck. I mean, it's just not working on all the uh, the core web vitals. I mean, they're pretty much all in the red. Now, of course, when you pop over to desktop, it's okay, all right? Um, I guess a couple of the metrics are not great, but that that's kind of where we're at. So the site's not doing too badly, but it could be better. Um, and it's, you know, it needs to be converted just so I can get it out of Thrive Theme. So that's where we stand. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go, uh, you're not going to watch this part, but I've already got the site rebuilt in staging and I'm going to go ahead and go live with it. And then we're going to see how these numbers shifted. Okay, we're all done. So this is the old site that I just showed you. And here we are with the site uh, fully converted over to Cadence Theme. Okay, so the big difference as we've talked about in the past is that Cadence Theme is a block-based theme. The site is actually built using a, a standard theme that says Cadence and then we build the individual pages with the block editor. And so it works inherently differently than a big old page builder like Thrive. And the site looks pretty much the same. There are a few little differences, but it's uh, but it, it, most of the stuff is still there. You can see it's got the same basic structure. Um, and it works out fine. Now, there are a few other little optimizations that I could do with this if I wanted to, but I wanted to have the comparison be as close as possible so there weren't other reasons why the numbers got better. For example, wishlist members still active on the site. We no longer need wishlist member on the site. Uh, so I could deactivate it. it, might save a little bit more performance, but I left it just so everything stays the same. Now here's what's interesting. So I ran GT metrics again. The numbers got pretty good. Here's the old scores. They weren't too bad before, okay? But now we're scoring perfect hundreds. Um, largest content family, everything just got better. The interesting thing here, here's the old one. If we go down, this is from Thrive. We were running about a megabyte in page size, 427 kilobyte of just JavaScript, 83 requests. Well, here's the new numbers. Let's go on down. 
Now we're talking about 315 kilobytes. So we've dropped, we're like a third of the size we used to be. Now we're only talking about 68 kilobytes of files versus, what was it, 427 kilobytes of files for JavaScript. Now we're only like 68. The Obviously the images should be, actually the images should be roughly the same. Yeah, 188, because I didn't change any of those. So we're still talking about that. Um, 29 requests versus 83 requests. That's why it's so much faster. This is why Cadence is so much more streamlined than Thrive Themes could ever hope to be. And then I went and redid the page speed insights. And here, look at this. Mobile scores, we're now scoring a 97 on performance. What were we before? About a 50 something and all the scores were in the red. Uh, th this one is still the only one in the red. Everything else is in the green. Um, and this is probably because of that big image, which I have, I didn't optimize it. I haven't, I haven't done anything with it yet. So I could probably get that number up just fine. Pop over to desktop. We're obviously scoring a perfect 100. So that was interesting. I didn't actually know what the uh, the results were going to be. I suspected it because I have made this switch on a couple other people, or actually more than a couple, and definitely on my own sites. And I definitely saw my metrics go up substantially. But I, it was, it, I thought it would be interesting to try out just a, a simple site like this one because this site just is tiny. It doesn't have that much going on. And to, to take it from Thrive Themes directly into Cadence and to see how those metrics go up, up, it's pretty substantial. It really is pretty substantial. Now, is it because of Thrive Themes? I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to recommend Thrive Themes ever again for the reasons I've stated in the other videos. But if this site had been built with Elementor or some other type of page builder, would we have also had crummy scores? I don't really know. But I know that when we switched this thing over to Cadence and the Gutenberg setup and build it with blocks and all that, it's incredibly efficient compared to Thrive. I mean, just the amount of JavaScript code and stuff that's not being downloaded anymore is pretty substantial. And I bet you if this site had been built with Elementor, even with something like Hello Theme or something like that, I bet you the numbers would be similar in the fact that they'd go from here to here by switching it because there's just no way you can have a full beefy page builder back there and not have these kind of things happen, all right? So anyway, thought that might be interesting to you. Um, if you are running Thrive Themes, I, I kind of think you should get out of it at this point. I don't like the way that they're running things, and you certainly wouldn't want your site to be turned off, essentially, if you don't pay their expensive renewal fees. I wouldn't want to be held hostage like that. So um, I'm converting the last remaining clients that I have that are still using Thrive, I am hammering them to get out of Thrive, or they just got to get their own license. They can't use mine anymore because I'm canceling it one way or the other.